Hello and welcome to the Scarlet Cascabel version 2. Uh, this is a thief girl and fan mission for the, made for the uh, Dark Project 20th Anniversary competition. This is version 2 of the mission, um, which apparently has a bunch of stuff added in that they had wanted to get in and then cut due to the uh, time constraint. So it's the bigger and better one. I have not played this mission at all. It's one of two missions for the uh, Dark Project 20th Anniversary competition that I uh, didn't get around to playing in time before the uh, voting deadline happened and then didn't get back to because I kind of uh, didn't touch anything Thief for well over a year. Um, so... I don't want to do the training mission. So, let's get started. It's about time I visited an old friend of mine. I received a letter from Wendelin, who used to run with Basso and me back in the old days. She's been lying low for the past few years, running a modest operation near the borders of Witchwood. She has reason to believe a famed artifact can be found there, and not just your average dusty relic. It's a long road through Witchwood. Superstition prevails that the woods are evil, filled with devils and spooks. You know, the usual. But I could use some quiet time in the country for a change, and the deep woods have plenty of shadows for me to feel at home in. So, guys going out for a nice stroll in the woods. Meet Wendelin at the Sultan's Trumpet and find out what she knows about the artifact. Don't harm your contact. That's, that's, I'm a professional, of course you don't have any contact with so. Legend has it, the trio of jade idols are lost in the forest. See if you can find them. So far no different on the difficulty, so I'm going to stick on hard in case it does the usual don't kill anyone kind of thing later. Because uh, occasionally I might need to clean up some uh, messes if I make too many mistakes. But uh, let's jump in. Shop. Sword and blackjack, four broadheads, four water arrows, two moss arrows, one rope arrow. So I have a sack of gear. Whoops. Okay, I should probably not throw that away. Uh, is that. That's interesting. I wonder when I open that. A letter from Wender, I'll check that in a second. Block picks and one healing potion. What's the letter? Garrett, the town guard here won't harass travellers unless they feel threatened. But there are some shady characters in the village. Armed men from up the city. Some may even know you, at least by reputation, if not on sight. I'll explain when you get here, but just be your usual stealthy self, Wend. Alright, well we're in a big forest. Glowy mushrooms. And uh, dropped coins. Which would huh? I don't see any witches. Do I have a map? Oh, I do. Alright, so I kind of go zigzag back and forth. Oh, wait. Am I on the road to the village or am I in Witchwood? I don't know. Uh, the teenagers go in, you know, taking carts out and joy for joy rides and just leaving them half ruined, half burnt in the middle of the forest. And the same everywhere. Oh, 
Oh, I'm trying to zoom and forgot this is Thief Gold and I can't zoom. There's a cave down there. I can go up, so we've got a bridge, we've got some X signs. Okay, that's the bridge. So which is the inn that I'm going to tavern? Is that here? Is that here? And the map suggests that the house is up there. Let's go see what's down here. At least it's beautifully quiet and dark most of the time. Uh, what's that? There's a thing, okay. I'm not sure I like the things. Does the cave just end here or does it, uh, it does look like it continues but I'll have to swim. Let's see if I can jump over there first. Grave? Danger, quicksand. So it's. I guess I shouldn't stand on it, right? I am tempted. I am very tempted. Can't swim up. <laughs> Danger indeed. Uh, many a taffer has lost their life here. I'm stuck. Alright. Well, danger indeed. Danger indeed. I wonder if there's other unmarked patches of quicksand to be a more careful. That would be uh, worth noting. Sorry, someone saw something here, but it's just these lily pads. Wonder if there's anything in the water. Alright, let's check out this cave. That's a little glowy crystal. After weeks searching these filthy stinking woods, I'm nearly within reach of one of the famed Jade Idols. Too bad Elwyn was lost to the quicksand, and that good-for-nothing Pubert abandoned the expedition after a few little fairy fly bites. But now I don't have to split the money. The treasure is mine at last, and the only way they'll get it is to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Well, you know, maybe more uh, true than you realise. Did you go in here? Oh, there's a collapse. Well, I'm gonna pry it from your cold, dead, bony hands. You found the Jade Idol. One of three. Alright. Oh, there's water arrows, that's very nice. And this takes us back out to the forest again, all right. I can't climb up there. Now, I could go swim and exhaustively search water. But I'm not sure that makes for very good viewing and there's probably very little, there's probably something down in the water, right? But, uh, Like, I don't, I'm not going to exhaustively search anywhere, really. I'll pick it out. I'll find my way back to where I was. Or maybe I can get out of here. <sighs> yeah. Pretty sure this is a mill. Is it on the map? It is. Alright. So if I head north from here... 
else. Let's look around first. See what we can find. Because I want to try going. I want to check out this place up here in the northwest. So, considering that uh, Thief Dark Project Thief Gold didn't have any kind of forest mission at all, it was like all city and bone horde. Um, it had a few tree assets, as well. You can see, this is all basically the same tree repeating. It had like one big tree, but uh, it's pretty, pretty. Uh, Daring to go say right we're going to only use original assets and we're going to make a big forest mission And they seem to have pulled it off pretty damn well I like the use of the particle effects to make the low-lying fog Mill closed until further notice Not surely there's a way in Why is it closed? What happened? So we're gonna try and get in and find out. <laughs> get on there. Carrot. Middle log. It's a good thing I have the side business helping Wen to move goods since I have to abandon the mill, at least for now. It's been overrun with some kind of entity. Just a few sightings at first, but these spirits began to encroach more and more. I have no idea what they are, but no one is willing to go back to work under these conditions. Come to think of it, this all started after Marcus disappeared. He's the only one daring enough to help me clear these things out, but he's been missing for months now. Did he finally strike it rich and move back to the city? Damn it, where is that blasted dwarf? Some kind of entity. Oh, that's not a door, right? I'm gonna have to go in the window. Can I get in the window? No, I can't get in the window. It's too narrow. Alright, I'm gonna have to find another way in then. Don't think I can climb up there. I can I open this window? Well, this one's way too narrow. This one seems like it might almost be wide enough. But no, not quite. All right. Uh, there's a doorway there. Where does that lead? Oh, it's not a little room. Okay, let's get back down. Let's see if there's any way in that I can spot from ground level. I ain't afraid of no ghost. If it's a spider, yeah, I'll be very afraid. There's another open window. Doesn't look big enough to climb in either. There's this uh, basement window that's certainly too small. Hello, what about up there? No, they're all closed. Although, it might be big enough to climb in if I could open it. Probably climb up here, right? Let me see if this if that gets me any further. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get me any further. Although, hello, there's these. Garrett, jump on there. Climb on that. You know what? I didn't have any mantle turned on. Which is 
why I couldn't climb on that. Now maybe the mission is meant. <laughs> Oops. It's intended to, for you not to, but you're clearly meant to be able to climb up here, so uh, new metals. Useful. I mean, I don't know about clearly intended, but it seems probably intended. Alright, uh, so no luck finding a way in. I can see. I'm gonna try swimming. It's one all around. There might be an entrance in the water. Now, see, it's so dark. This would be a really good time for this to be a Thief 2 mission with um, flares available. But, uh, it is not. Of course, there's a current in the <laughs> Can I not swim underneath that? Uh, oops. Can I not mantle that? Oh dear, am I stuck? Swim down. Can't mantle up. So it's an object. Well, let's not try that again. Let's go around the other side. Again, that window is too narrow for me to climb through. What have we got here? Oh, I can get through here, okay. Oh, I can get through here, that's that's terribly useful, which takes me back to the other side of the mill. This is extraordinarily deep water for a uh, forest stream. But that does me no good. Alright, what am I going to try? Now they've got new metal on. I may actually be able to get through that first window, the one that seemed larger. The one with the crate in front of it. I don't know. to get in here. I mean, there's an, there's an interior, right? This, and there's clearly a mystery. Is that an actual door? Not an actual door. What am I missing? What am I getting stuck on? Something invisible there that I get stuck on. Hmm. How do you get in? Well, when I'm sorry I'm going to be late, but uh, this mill is just like kicking my ass right now. Maybe in the garden. Okay, hey, there's a path up. Surely there's a way in. Let's try the rear side where there's the long row of windows. Can I climb up there? Let's see if I can get a rope into that sill. Nope. Was the sill actually metal? No, the sill is metal. Stone or something. What about into the windows themselves? Get it? I can get her open to the windows themselves, and that means they probably don't open. But then it's too close to climb. 
Alright, that's not a way in then. How do I get in? I am, I am perplexed and annoyed. How about this? Uh, nope, it just disappears. This is why when you only have one rope arrow, you uh, save before firing it off. <laughs> Do I climb up on the mill wheel and try and get it turning? Oh, trying to jump there pushes me off backwards. So that answers that question. No. Alright, well... Let's just make a note. I'm going to try coming back later. For now, let's just head back. I'm going to try and head back to where I was earlier. Come north and west. I'm guessing this way. I wonder who comes out here and lights all these lanterns in the forest. I guess this is a road. Right, so... That down there is where the quicksand is. And the cave was there, alright. Man, look at that waterfall. This will be a uh, popular tourist attraction uh, in a few years' time. Right, whose house is this? That was on the map. Very friendly and welcoming. Who lives out here in the forest? Chores. Need more ointment from town. Pick up wicks from Slim while there. Replace lantern on village path. Gather some moss. Well, now I know who keeps the lanterns lit. This is the the lamplighter's house. Gather some moss. I'm sorry, I gathered some moss from you. Farlin. Did you see that fellow that passed by a few days ago, dripping wet and smelling like moss? He claimed he fell in the river, but when he opened his pack I saw a bare, pair of bright green gems. Just started to ask about them when the miller showed up and I had to go back to work. I bet you he found them gems right here in the forest. I heard rumours of ruined temples and such. Think I'll do a little scouting around. Marcus. Oh, this is Marcus, the mill worker. Empty bottle of fairy fly ointment. Or is this Marcus the dwarf? Is this the one who went missing? Well, he doesn't have any valuables, of course. That's, uh... Why would he be living out here in the forest? Occupation. Keeping the lamps lit. Hunting for stuff in the forest. Green gems and such. going north I think is there a there's a ledge there that's not the, that's not the cave I went in is it I don't no it can't be though there would I would have remembered the waterfalls let's see what's down there ah uh, my death let's try jumping so we get into the deep water ah it's more like it Wait, this is a quicksand. This is a quicksand land. Oh wait, this is different quicksand. Isn't it? It's not the same. No, it is the same. I'm just confused looking at it from a different angle. So that's the cave I went in and I didn't come out this way. This is where we saw the fairy fly. Okay. Hello. What's this? He's probably in the water. 
Elias Boomkin. Stay there. Uh, well, he's going deeper. Oh, he had a green gem. Alright. I wonder if he had any more or if it drops and that went, would have gone further down. Doesn't appear to be so. Oh, hello. If you want more arrows, I should be uh, swimming through all these. I'm gonna get up on that ledge. Get out of the water first. Someone was digging here, but uh, I guess this is where he found the gems and then fell in. Poor Elias. And that's the cave with the Jade statue. Here, it should take us back up the road to the bridge. Ah, look at those fireflies. Very pretty. Well. Saw something up in the tree, which would be strange. I think it's just part of the tree, weirdly lit. I guess we keep on going towards the village now instead of uh, diverting towards the mill. So just keep following the road, keep following the road. I mean, this takes us past the mill, but uh, I don't know the way in. At least the mill should be easy to find again later. So, here's the village. Where we have been instructed to be my usual stealthy self. Alrighty then. It's Witchwood. Witchwood? That one or the other one? It's uh, quite bright out here, really. Three o'clock. Mm. And all is well. Derek can stop shooting arrows at the squirrels. The town can't afford to keep buying arrows to replace the ones you lose in the trees. And keep a sharp eye out. Let me know if more of Lash's men enter the village. Don't try to stop them yourself. Remember what happened to Fergus. Also, call me Doogie one more time and you die. Dougal. <laughs> You should be my usual stealthy self, that does mean stealing everything I see, right? Right, Wind? I'm sure you'll uh, be able to explain to the townsfolk afterwards. Hello. Not 
shooting him, just trying to get a better look. He does not look reputable. Let's let's go a different way. I would prefer not to be observed by anyone in the village, so let's see if we can find a back way to the end. Well, back way into somewhere. There's a rogue. Let's try a different path. Door isn't gonna open. Oh, there's someone right there. Searching for something. Do they see me? Is this person coming in here? Is the question? Yes, they are. Wash your hands. That's good. That was less than 20 seconds. Shadow there. Nothing. Oh, I hate rats. Me too. That Taff and Miller. The old gypsy woman said the magic beans to grow beanstalk high as the clouds. Now I've no time to tend a garden, so I stuck him in the Miller's patch. He's always fussing over them plants of his. But before the stalk could get higher than that Taff and Scarecrow, he'd picked all the beans and cut her down. Then that goose. The old gypsy woman said it laid golden eggs. Imagine! I kept that goose for months, but nary a single gold egg did I see. Twas the miller, I know it. He must have snuck in the coop and swapped the gold eggs for real ones. Don't know how he managed it, but he's a crafty one. The old gypsy woman said that if I buried a deer carcass in the forest each dark of the moon, the forest would soon be full of deer and I'd have no end of fresh meat. And the best part is I get to keep the legs to sell. So that's where all the deer legs come from. Although I'm impressed you're able to, uh, in a little out of the way village like this, you actually got refrigeration. That's uh, it's quite special. And indoor plumbing. Wow. What do you got upstairs? Help! Oh. Help! Hello. There's a guy. <clears throat> I thought you were downstairs. You know what? I'm gonna take you to your bed. You can sleep there. Just put your put your bill. Oh, you can go right into the bed, okay. Good night, butcher. Ah, oh, look at those barracks is Nelly, such a sweet disposition, but so savoury on sourdough. Elmer, ate like a hog, but tasted like chicken. Santa, provided an excellent yuletide treat. Old Dodger, a welcome addition to any meal. Stumpy, how I, how I shall miss you, my delicious friend. Just barracks as pets and then eats them. Butchers them, eats them. What are those valuable plates up there? No. Oh. Okay. 
can't even, uh, he doesn't even have any deal eggs that I can actually steal. What's with these poor people not having enough uh, gold? Hello? Oh, that's his, uh, that's his street door, okay. So I bet you won't be happy to see me, right? I do like how they uh, warned me that some of the uh, people might know me by sight. It's a. Uh, Blitzer Bledsoe, and Cole. It's a good way to deal with the uh, voice lines that where they call it. Garrett, what are you doing here? You're a noise. Only one client in the safety deposit room at a time. They expect privacy, not to mention the security concerns. Oops, wrong button. Don't hurt me. Hurry! Over here! Save Hi. me! Dang it. Dang it. Why couldn't I knock him out? What magic hood were they wearing? To make some blackjack proof. Six more hours, I could use another one. Why not? Hello, I saw someone just a minute back. <coughs> oh, we're up here above the. Uh... Uh. Oh, shit! Mm. How did you get there? Heads up! We got an intruder. There's a guy over here. I'll find Help you me. eventually. Ha! That tickles. Yeah. We're gonna. Just weird how your sound just stops. You're a lousy shot. I'm not shooting. It's a blackjack. That tickles! Ha! Ah, uh, well, it seems like, uh... When I find you, I'm... You're a lousy shot! Yeah, finally. Lash is lacking, yeah, Lash. Yeah, I... You shoot him in the face. Alert. Something's going on. There's a whole come bunch out, of come out wherever you are. Oh, well, just give me a moment. Invited here, but uh, you're not the welcoming type in this town. What does that note say about the safety deposit room? Is it this room? So it is. I 
few of them might be openable. Good thing they can't afford high quality uh, locks, right? So picked with a single lockpick. Very safe. Ah, uh, number eight. Number eight. Let's make a note. Safety puzzle box? Like, I wouldn't even pay for the hire. Alright, well, time to head outside again. Someone here has some wealth. Oh, no, they're a, book, they're a bookseller. How to use burrocks to find ed edible mushrooms? A fungus among us, the ubiquitous mushroom and its many uses. The mushroom in religious art, a compendium. Oh, so it's weirdly bright in this in this place. It's like. There's a couple of candles nearby, but I was like, oops, I guess it was nothing. Really well lit. More books. What am I? That was a bench. The Undead Premier. Eating people is wrong. Outwitting squirrels and other crafty wood woodland creatures. Mr. DePerrin. What the? Who are you? There's a gun. You're all weirdly blackjack resistant. Quite unfortunate. I'll take that. Well, there's certainly going to be no Garrett in this town, I guess. The Red Lady of Blackwell Hall, a history. Among the most notable of local legends is the haunting of Blackwell Manor, now a hotel known simply as the Blackwell. Once the Blackwell family residence, the hotel is situated in a picturesque mountainside setting near Witchwood Forest, but the tranquil scene belies the dark history of the manor and its inhabitants. Before its transformation, the manor remained unused since the days when Alexander and Elizabeth Blackwell were Lord and Lady of the Hall. During the years the manor stood vacant, many claim to have seen the figure of a tall woman standing in a high tower window. She has become known as the Red Lady for the colour of her dress and her dark auburn hair. Since opening as a hotel, reports of odd occurrences abound. Many guests have experienced a feeling of foreboding, or a sense of gloom or dread. Some have reported seeing ghostly apparitions, dark figures appearing out of nowhere and seen only out of the corner of the eye. Many also report hearing disembodied voices, the sound of footsteps, and even occasionally the laughter of a small child. No one is certain what tragic events have unfolded under the many tiered roofs of the manor, or who most of the ghostly inhabitants might be. But the Red Lady of Blackwell Hall figures prominently as one of the most colourful and unnerving of local legends. Wow, that's not gonna... that's not anything I need to worry about, right? I'm not, uh, not gonna need to do anything with Blackwell Hall, I'm quite sure. It's not foreshadowing at all. Don't get stuck, Garrett. Who's in the stables? Anyone? Why do you have a stable door and no stalls? Maybe you just don't have any horses anymore. <laughs> well, that gives me a way through out the back. It's... Oh, hello. Someone is uh, just the back of the butchers. Turn around, Mr. Park. That's right, you'll, you'll wake up in the 
the morning without telling you. You won't, you won't taste any the worse for having had a knock on the head. That's a scarecrow. Scarecrow and a half. That's like uh, tall. Look how bright it is. It's supposed to be night time. It's like uh, Okay, we're back here again. Guess I never looked to the left to see the uh, scarecrow. I just came down this way. There's someone. Oh, there's the person at the cart that we saw. We say they're looking about, but no, there. What are they doing? I think I've uh, already given up on the idea of remaining completely stealthy in this village. Oh, this is the miller. I wonder if knocking everybody out is going to ruin things if this like story events just happen. Where's his golden eggs then, huh? See, he doesn't have golden eggs. This person is a seller. Let's check it out. Carrots. Oh look, food is healing me. This is not. This is not traditional thief one. Custom scripting there. I must get the mill open again. While it's closed, I have to make runs into Fog Hollow to supply the town with grain. The constant trips are tiresome, though it does provide a good cover for making Wen's deliveries. I got the map of the hotel Wen asked for, but left it behind when we were forced to flee the mill to have it. That Rasmus is a fine butcher, but his behaviour is nothing short of bizarre. I saw him bury something in my garden one night. It turned out to be a beanstalk with the best beans I've ever eaten. Too bad I got the blight and I had to cut it down. Then he bought a scraggly old goose that laid two eggs every day like clockwork. He didn't seem to care about them, so I snuck in every morning and took one for myself. I think he might have seen me because he started giving me suspicious looks. And then he cooked the goose! Here's a cell, but no way into it from the inside, only from the outside. <laughs> Don't forget to check the cellar. These people are properly good with their candles. Oh, hello. Fainting Millie. Okay, she's just fainted. She saw something through the telescope that uh, shocked her. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not a door. Alright, let's check out the cellar. What is the miller keeping his cellar? Well, actually, you know what? Mr. Miller? You also are going to bed. At least this way I'll have some kind of alibi. They're not going to find random people knocked out. Although I just remembered the guard at the, uh, the thug. The people at the uh, bank sort of place. That's a... Uh, I need a cover story for that. Strangely discolored wall there, isn't there? Sure, it means nothing. Oh, hey. Oh, I didn't even notice that could open. You do have a way in from your house, okay. What is secrets do you have down here, Mr. Miller? Hello? Series of tunnels with the. Uh, People, armed people. Very, very noisy ground. <coughs> wow, there's 
uh, more going on in this village than its um, 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 appearance would make you think. You just stay there. That Miller is in league with Wend. Does that mean this is something of hers to do with? And I'm kind of treading on her toes? I don't know. Wouldn't be the first time that uh, old friends turned out to be less friendly. Mines, like uh, it's a town built upon mines. <laughs> Thankfully, not the exploded kind. street. Maybe these aren't such a secret, but... Surely... Hmm... I mean, it, there was definitely a secret door there to the Millers. Just waiting for this person to start wandering back so I can... Clean, clean up down here. There's too much riffraff troops and about. Oh. <laughs> Missed. Is that his pets just following him? Missed again. This rate, I'm not going to have any broadheads left at all. Well, I'm sorry, I can't leave a spider wondering about. It's just not, not done. You just wait for them to come back here and then deal with them both. Sorry about your pet, but uh, maybe I can get more of my arrows back. Yeah, good. They didn't break. And another rope arrow. Only thieves and rogues use rope arrows, so uh, I guess I know how to hit this barrel. Not one, one arrow wasted, that's not too bad. Isn't much. Alright, so this door doesn't open. What's that over there? Oh, There's a switch not connected to anything, I don't think, so I don't think I can use that to get through. I wonder how I open that. Maybe from the other side. It's not blood, it's a book. Ruddy, have the explosives ready at dawn. Damn the company. We'll rig the bridge using the old generator and call it faulty wiring. I'm not losing one more worker to the south mines, no matter how many gems are down there. Power. Well, these webs are... Uh imagining things. Suggestive, aren't they? Hmm. So 
probably looks like a rigged device. What is going on down here? All right, so I have this is the wire coming here. Huh. So if this turns on, boom goes the bridge. Can I make it across there? Let's let's give that a try. I'm gonna have to blow this up to uh, in order to get into these mines. I think if I want, if, if that's the thing I'm gonna want to do. I don't know yet. I mean, what's no one. I'm not entirely sure yet if I want to uh, start destroying the village. I mean, knocking a few heads here and there is, is all very well, it's one thing, but uh, blowing things up, it's, uh, it's a little less stealthy than I'm used to being. Also, I didn't see a switch to turn on, so yeah. Uh, did I check that? I must have. Let's go back to the millers. And, uh... Make sure no one knows we've been down here. I guess we keep uh, exploring the town here. So this is the butchers. in this hatchway I found earlier, right? Uh. Ouch! I didn't see you there. It's like, it's so bright you guys can see me easily, but I can barely see you. That's quite frustrating. Do I have any flash bombs at all? I don't. Lost them. Yeah, I'm glad you lost me. Don't start thinking I'm gonna forget about you. Don't worry, I'm thinking about uh, whether I have any more. Whether I'm gonna get any more healing potions. <laughs> Damn it, he's gonna find me, isn't he? Dodge yep. this! Lop. Keeps making mantling noises. Well, let's not go that way then, shall we? Or if we do, let's time it better. Let's try timing it better. So bright, look! It's like I'm standing in sunlight. I think he's facing this way, that's the problem. Is lucky. You get to go sit over here where I died in that other timeline. Oh, what was that? An open window. <laughs> it is, but I can't reach it. And there's someone in there. Oh, there's a cellar I can't unlock. Still on the uh, northwest end of town, huh? The cheesemongers. It's like three in the morning, you're not still open for business, surely. You're just like standing there behind the counter? What?
Who's Townie? Hello. Let's see what money you've got. God, Wendy's gonna be uh, so upset with me for uh, having knocked out everyone else in the entire village. Well, a cheese will. Uh, I might open it off. Alright, it's not healing cheese. Not a single. Where did I get the healing potion from? Oh, I used it in the ultimate universe where I died. Okay. Hmm. How can these people have, like, refrigerated glass doored cabinets and us in the city don't have anything like that kind of level of tech? It's. Unreasonable. What what secret are these villagers hiding? I mean, apart from all the other secrets. Haunted mines and haunted mansions and... Ah! Uh, uh, just... Mm. Doesn't... Looks the same darkness there as here, but there I'm ridiculously visible. <coughs> Again, this looks dark, but it's not. Barely. This village is... Uh, Frustrating. Alright, Blush, you're gonna need some new luckies. These ones are not good. Bakers. Whose house is this in? Nobody's house. It's still funny that I'm still playing this, like, uh, it clearly wants me to go to the end to get things started, right? Oh, we're back here again. Ah, I was gonna go hide the people in a safer spot, but I really, really can't. Alright, bookshop, bookshop, yep. Stables, so I went in the stables. And from there I ended up in the butchers, I think. I haven't been down this alleyway. Hello, who's... Is that the valuable potions? Magic? Supplies? Well, putting out that candle was, uh... That was a little better. Okay, it's dark, finally. Passion potion, 100 gram, uh, gold, so. Uh, charm potion, 50 gold. Hair growth potion, 200 gold. Healing fruit, uh, like that. There's all these archers wandering around. Tell me, is you hiding anything behind here? Nope. Oh, another healing potion, thank you. Finally a potion I can use. Keep in your cellar. Tiny potion. Essence of oblivion. Administered experimental tincture. Pits from which wood laced with the dew of three glory mushrooms. After adding one drop of spider venom, the effect was quite alarming. My assistant forgot who he was and then flailed violently before succumbing to complete catatonia. He sat for two days, and nary a move did he make, not even to relieve himself. By day three, he was afflicted with caustic flatulence that shook and rumbled the boards. I worry the neighbours will think it was me. This essence of oblivion needs much dilution before I can find a lucrative use for it. Some spiders escaped through the venting, so I sent my assistant, mostly recovered, after them. It's been so lovely and quiet, I hope it takes him a while to come back. Oh, you keep... You keep spiders for their venom. He ams the honey maker, he ams the jacksberry, sits we down under his trees and roots, eats me all his leaves and gifts, he feeds us. Is this open? I mean that feels it's a shelf, but it feels suspicious. Sitting in the wall. 
Let's see, kind of a switch. We have a tiny little tree here. So we're talking about the witch wood, but not the switch wood. Okay, so the essence of oblivion makes people flail violently before succumbing to complete catatonia. That could be useful, although I don't know how I'm supposed to use it. I'm presumably not supposed to use it on myself, right? Can I drink it? No. That was worth a shot. Alright. The rest of the town beckons. But I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you soon here for the next episode.